Hello and welcome back to a new video in the Raspberry Pi series. In this video we will have a look at the GPIO input node. First of all I would like to show you what we will create today. So here we have a dashboard with a small indicator light. Per default it is red and it is directly connected to the Raspberry Pi's input. So if we use the red jumper wire and connect it to the appropriate pin we can see that the indicator turns green. So let's dive into our node red. First we will need to find our node. It is under Raspberry Pi and it is called Raspberry Pi GPIO in. If we double click on our node we can see a pinout of our pins. So this shows us what pins are connected to what. If you want to find out where those are located on your Raspberry Pi, just google for it, there are many great resources where you can find that information. So for this example I have connected a basic red jumper wire to the pin 1. This is 3.3 volts of power. And I will connect this jumper to GPIO 17 which is located on pin 11 as seen in the pinout description. So to tell our node that we want to read that, we can just click on the little circle and it will select this pin. The last thing we need to do is to select the resistor. If we use a pull down here, this allows us to directly connect the 3.3 volt power. So that's exactly what we need. That's all for our GPIO configuration. And now we can use a simple debug node to check out if it's working. So with my little jumper wire that's connected to pin 1, I can now go on and connect to GPIO 17, which is pin 11. As I connect the wire, we can see that the state of the pin changes to 1. And you can also see that it doesn't send a 1 continuously, but only when the state has changed. So that's very convenient for our usage here. One thing I would like to add here is a simple dashboard indicator. We have implemented this from scratch in a previous video, so if you are interested in that you can go and check it out. Otherwise we will just import the file or the code. You can download the code from the GitHub page linked in the description below. In order to make this work for our current application we need to do some changes. So the first step is to ungroup this entire thing. Then we can delete the inject node and the trigger as we will only need the changes and the template node. So if we have a look at those imported nodes, we can see that the change nodes actually set the color and the size of the indicator. And in the template we can see our entire configuration as well as the values that we provide using the change nodes. So for this example I would actually like to have a constant width and height so we will just hard code that to 50 pixels each. And then we can remove the scale messages from both of our change nodes. Now we can use a simple switch to determine whether our GPIO pin has a signal or not. Uh, to go back real quick, we can see that the payload actually provides us with a 0 or a 1. So this is what we need to check in the switch node. So we will just use a number here and let's say if it's 1, we will output it on output 1. And in any other case, we can output it on output 2. So now we can just connect it up. We remove the debug node and rearrange all of the nodes. The last thing we do is make sure that the dashboard is as we want it. So by importing the code we have actually imported a simple dashboard configuration. We can go to the layout real quick. 
to position our indicator in the middle of our UI group. As we see, we now have a blank dashboard. That's because the indicator hasn't actually been initialized. So part of the reason for that is that our pin hasn't changed. We can fix that with a simple inject node, which will just set the default color of the indicator to red. The last thing to do here is testing it out. So we will deploy it and now we will go back to our Raspberry Pi. So if we use our jumper wire and connect it to pin 11, we can see that our indicator turns to green and is actually pretty responsive. So that's it for this small tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you could learn something. See you next time.